Hi, and welcome back to Dr. Adam ASMR. I'm really glad you're still able to make it in today. I know that with the rain and the storm outside, it can be a little bit difficult, but I'm glad you're able to make your appointment, and we certainly are going to do a thorough physical exam today and make sure we get to the bottom of what's going on. Now, I know that you were feeling a little short of breath, so if it's okay with you, I'm actually going to take a listen to your lungs first. Is that okay? Okay, let me just put some gloves on here. Also going to put your finger in what's called a pulse oximeter. Uh, that will help me to determine how much oxygen saturation is in your blood right now. Let's go ahead and put the pulse ox on here. Okay. Just relax, let that do its thing. I'm just gonna do a curse read lung exam here. Stay nice and relaxed for me, okay? It will be easy breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Excellent, just like that. Okay, let's do a nice deep in through your nose and out through your mouth. here and out. Good. Okay. We'll come back to a full lung exam, but anytime someone has a respiratory complaint, I always like to make sure that we're not missing something right out of the gate. Now, take your pulse ox back off your upper or your finger. Okay. Your pulse ox or the oxygen saturation right now was 99%, which is totally normal. Actually, anything over 94% is entirely normal, so nothing to worry about there. Very good. Now, I'm going to take some notes if that's okay with you. Please, if you don't mind, tell me when you started feeling this shortness of breath. And describe that for me. that change at all when you're moving around or exerting yourself? Okay. Do you feel like your heart rate has been fast? Okay. Any fevers or chills? Any cough lately? Okay. No history of blood clots? looked through your record. I didn't see any recent surgeries. Is that still correct? Okay. All right. Any other symptoms that you were experiencing, such as chest pain, dizziness? Okay. Did you feel like you had any wheezing? medical history do you have in the past? Okay. That's what I've got in the chart from before, so I'm glad that's accurate. And we talked about surgeries. Do you have any allergies that I may not know about? Very good. Okay. Do you smoke at all? drink at all? And any drugs, illicit drugs, specifically with shortness of breath and chest pain, we worry about cocaine use. Okay, very good. All right, and do you have any family history of any heart disease or breathing problems? Okay, very good. 
Any other concerns or questions that you'd like me to address today? I'll make a note of that and we can talk about that at the end. Good. Okay. Now, if it's alright with you, I'd like to start from the head down, as we usually do here, to make sure that we don't miss anything. We'll start by examining your hair, your scalp itself for any trauma or lesions, and then progress down into the neck and the face. You can expect a cranial nerve exam. We'll examine your eyes, examine the inside of your ears, nose, and mouth. We'll then go down to your lungs and to your heart. This time we'll do a more thorough exam of your lungs. We'll also do an abdominal exam today. Any tests that we need to order along the way, I'll be sure to put the order in so that we can get those results. Okay. Would it be alright with you if we get started? Good. Okay, just relax for me. I'm just going to look through some hair here. Palpate the muscles behind your head here. Let me know if anything's tender. Can you turn your head to the right? And the left. Okay. Okay. Any tenderness there? any deformities or step-offs in your cervical spine. The paraspinal musculature does feel normal and your hair distribution looks normal and I don't see any lesions, no parasites, no signs of infection or other evidence that could suggest a vitamin deficiency or other conditions we may be missing. Everything looks normal. Any questions about that exam? Let's go ahead to the front of your neck now. We'll check again for any muscular tenderness or strains, and we'll evaluate the thyroid as well. Okay. Just relax for me. Okay. Got shrug your shoulders up for me. Okay, great. Okay, and down. Underneath your chin here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. What I'm going to have you do now is turn your head to the side and I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure here so I can do a thyroid exam, okay? Go ahead and turn your head to the right side and swallow for me. Good. Okay. Turn your head to the left now. Go ahead and swallow. Good. Okay. Just relax. I'm just going to palpate the thyroid here for a second. Make sure I don't feel any nodules. And it's not tender at all. Okay. Good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Very good. Okay. Well, if it's alright with you, I'd like to move back up to the head. We'll take a look in your ears, nose, and mouth. Is that okay? Let me to grab my otoscope. I know we've talked about the otoscope before, but we'll just go over it again for comfort and to make sure that you understand what's going on. So this again is the otoscope handle and the otoscope head. And they'll go together just like this. And we'll be able to turn a light on to see right inside your ear. We'll use the same attachment so that we can see inside your nose as well. Do you want me to show you how this works on the model one more time? It's no problem. Sure, I'd be happy to do that. Wow, really is 
it's raining hard out there. Okay. Here's our model. You're familiar with this. Our light will just gently go inside the ear so that we can see into the ear easily. And take a look at your tympanic membrane and examine for any signs of otitis externa, which could be inflammation. Now, as always, during the exam, I'm going to tug on the pin of your ear and palpate for any tenderness on the mastoid process behind your ear. So you can expect to feel that first, then a little bit of pressure, and we'll insert the otoscope so we can take a look. We'll start on the right, okay? Starting with an external exam, and I'm just going to pull down a little bit here. Any tenderness? No, okay. I'm going to palpate here. Any, any pain there? No? Okay. Very good. Now, just relax for me and take a look with our light here. A little bit of Pressure. Okay. Good. So I see a clear tympanic membrane. It's intact. There's no fluid behind the tympanic membrane. I don't see any irritation. No evidence of otosclerosis. I don't see any evidence of otitis externa or otitis media, so no evidence of irritation or inflammation or signs of infection, which is all good. And I don't see any scarring here, so it's unlikely that you've had tubes in your ears recently. Okay, we're going to come out here. Okay, how'd you do there? Was that okay? We'll go to the other side here. Okay, I'm just going to start by palpating again. And you'll feel me pull down here. Any tenderness? Okay. We'll just tap on that mastoid process. Any pain there? Good. I don't see any swelling or anterior rotation of the ear, which is good. That is good. Okay. Comes that otoscope, okay? Pressure. And there we go. Okay, very good. So I also see a clear tympanic membrane here. Looks like possibly some old scarring. I'm not sure if maybe you had tubes in your ears at one point. But no evidence of infection, no excessive cerumen, which is our fancy word for earwax. I don't see any evidence of otitis externa. Everything looks good here. Okay, just relax for me. And we'll get a new tip here. So, let's recap a little bit. Your exam so far of your head and neck have been normal. Your ears appear healthy. Some mild scarring on the left side, but it's likely due to it. something like a tube placement as a child. Nothing to be concerned about for now. I'd like to move on and take a look in your nose next. Would that be okay? Good. Now I'm sure you remember this is just gentle traction on the tip of your nose upwards and that will allow me to pass the otoscope right inside to see in both of your nares. Is that okay? Good, okay. So, if you just relax for me here. A little pressure. Good. Okay. And we'll check the other side. So I'm just looking here, I don't see any nasal polyps. There's no epistaxis, which is our word for nosebleed. And I don't see any rhinorrhea, which is excessive runny nose. Good. 
good. And the septum looks healthy as well, which is the cartilage between both sides. It's intact, which is important. I don't see any evidence of any allergic processes there, so it makes me think that that's probably not what's going on today. But we'll continue to do our exam and try and make the best decision that we can. Is that okay with you? Good, okay. Next up, we'll take this tip off and get a new one. Okay. I'd like to take a look in your mouth as well. Ear, nose, and throat is the general order of system that I like to go through. This is a nice bright light, so we'll use this, okay? What I'll have you do is just open up and say, ah. Stick your tongue straight out for me. Good, okay. And put it down on the bottom of your mouth. Good. Good, okay. I'm just gonna tap on some of these teeth, make sure they're not giving you any tenderness. Good, up top here. Nothing there. see normal sized tonsils, no cobblestoning in the back. I don't see any evidence of tonsil stones, no evidence of cancer or infection, so everything looks pretty healthy there. Now, I'm glad we were able to do that. While we're at your head here, I'd like to finish the upper portion of our exam by doing some cranial nerve testing. Would that be okay? Okay. First thing I'll have you do is just follow my finger. Good. Excellent. Just the tip of my finger. Good. Good. and relax, take a break. I know that can be a little bit, make you feel dizzy or anxious sometimes, and that's not what we want, so I'll give you a moment. Let's take a deep breath in and out together. And out. Very good. Let's just do one more test here. Follow my finger again, please. Good. That all seems totally normal. I'm going to check your pupils now, okay? So first thing I'm doing is just checking that we have an equal light reflex on both sides. That can help me determine if there's any strabismus that we might be missing. And I'm just going to check each pupil individually now. Five millimeters in reactive. So five millimeters and reactive. Good. I'm just gonna swing the flashlight here. Good. And I know we've talked about this before, but this allows me to evaluate both pupils. Wow. I think that was some thunder. This allows me to evaluate both pupils at once here for consensual light reflexes. Good. Everything is working as we would expect. Totally normal. 
Now, I'm going to test what we call gross sensation here first on your face. This is just gross touch by the back of my gloved fingers along three different areas of your face supplied by three branches of the same nerve. We'll start at the top with your eyes closed, but then it will go random order, and I'd like you to tell me where you feel my fingers. Good. Okay, here we go. Can you feel that? Good. Okay, with your eyes closed now, tell me where you feel this. Good. How about here? Down here. And did you feel that on one side or two sides? Exactly. Very good. Okay. Up here. How many sides did you feel that on? Good. Okay. And here? Good. Was that one side or both? That's correct. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Well, I'd like to go ahead and test cranial nerve 8 now, which is just basic hearing. We won't do a full hearing exam, but I'd like you to tell me which side I'm snapping on. Let me know where you hear this. That's correct. Very good. Okay. Now, can you shrug your eyebrows up for me? Good. Make a big smile. Good. Close your eyes very tightly. Don't let me open them. Good. Okay. Excellent. So let's go ahead and test that soft touch here. So we'll just get the cotton wisp here ready. should work. Go ahead and close your eyes for me. You'll feel a light touch of the cotton. Let me know which side and if you feel it on one or both. Okay, here. Yes, that's correct. Correct. Yep. Let me do that one one more time. Let's try again here. That's correct. Very good. One last time. Excellent. Very good. You were able to feel all of those correctly. I'm glad that was normal. Well, I think it's time to take a look inside your eyes, but first I'd like to test your gross visual acuity. We'll also test your peripheral visual fields after this, okay? I'd like you to cover your right eye for me now. Good. With that right eye covered, read the lowest line that you can read. Good. Very good. Make a note of that. Now, cover your left eye, please. And once again, read the lowest line that you can. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Now, we'll test those visual fields next. I'd like you to look straight ahead at me. Focus right on my nose, right here. Great. Are you ready for this test? Okay. Let me know when you see my fingers wiggling.
one or two more here. Good. Good. Excellent. I think that was all very normal and an appropriate response. We'll check for color blindness today before we do our optical exam because I know the light can alter your ability to see colors. Give me one moment to grab that. I hope you're able to park close. It sounds like that rain is really quite heavy out there. Interpret what number you see there. Let's enter that. You said 74? It's correct. What number do you see here now? Let's try that. You said 6. That is correct. What number is this? It seemed to be easy for you. 12. Let's see. Very good. Last number. I think it's 42. Let's see. Very good. I think that will suffice. That's covered most of the colors. Did you have any concerns or questions about that portion? No. Okay. Well, it's time that we switch the head off of our otoscope and we obtain the ophthalmoscope head. We'll get that out now. So we'll switch those heads out now and just attach easily like that. And we can rotate. And now I'll have light that I can look into your eye with. And this allows me to select a different focal length here and make sure that I'm getting the best view at the back of your eyes so that I can take a look at your optic nerve, the what we call cup to disc ratio, and the general blood vessels in the back of your eye. We'll do that now if that's okay. Good, okay. So I'll have you look over my right shoulder to start. I'm going to be getting a bit close to your face, but I'll use my right eye for your right eye so that my face is off-center. Okay? Good. My hand's going to go on your shoulder, okay? And just relax. Good. You're doing a great job. Bring that light in. There we go. Okay. Taking a look around. Okay. Yep. I know it's uncomfortable. Hang with me just a second. Good, good. Okay, relax. I'm just going to look under the lids now. Good. Good, okay. Whenever you're ready for the left side, I'll have you look over my left shoulder. Okay. Go ahead and look over my left shoulder. I'm going to hold your shoulder. over that left shoulder. Okay, just looking around. You're doing great. Look straight into the light for me. Good. Okay. Good. Relax. Gonna take a look at that conjunctiva below. And again, above. Good. Okay. Well, as far as I can tell, your eye exam appears normal. Your eyes, ears, nose, and mouth all seem healthy. I think it would be reasonable at this time to move on and do a full pulmonary exam, since originally you were saying you did have some shortness of breath. Then, of course, we'll do a cardiac exam, and we'll do an abdominal exam today. Is that okay? Good. 
Now start by just taking a listen to your lungs, okay? This will be the same as when you initially came in with the screening exam. Just a deep breath in and out. If we have any serious concerns, we can always obtain a chest x-ray. Now, let's get started. Is that okay? Good. Okay. I'll have you turn your head that way for me. Good. Okay. Deep breath through your nose. And out through your mouth. Good. Deep breath through your nose. And out through your mouth. Good. And in. And out. Good. And in. And out. Excellent. I'm gonna listen here on your sides. Go ahead and take a deep breath for me. Good. Okay. Try one more. Deep breath for me. Just gonna come over your back. Listen on the back here. Deep breath for me. Good. And again. Good. Okay, deep breath. Good. And deep breath again. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Well, I don't hear any wheezing. I don't hear any ronchi or rails. And I certainly didn't hear any strider in your airway. So those are all reassuring signs. I'm not exactly sure what caused your shortness of breath earlier. This may be something that we just need to monitor closely. Right now I'd like to take a listen to your heart. Is that okay? Good. Just breathe nice and normal. I know it's a bit funny, but sometimes we do listen on the other side, too, to hear any referred heart sounds, so I'm just checking. Can you lean forward a bit for me? Okay, you can sit back. I'm just going to bar your wrist and feel your pulse here. Now, what I'd like to do next is listen to your heart for a full 60 seconds to make sure I get an accurate heart rate, and also to make sure I'm not missing a subtle arrhythmia. There's something called sinus arrhythmia, and it's basically a changing of your heart rate based on breathing in and out. So I'd like to make sure I get a full 60 seconds to try and discover that. And of course, that's entirely harmless something else called atrial fibrillation can be a bit more problematic. Now, I don't think you have that, but I'd like to be thorough. Is that okay? Good. I'll go ahead and take a listen now, and we'll feel your pulse for a full 60 seconds. Feel free to close your eyes and just breathe nice and relaxed.
good. At most, it's sinus arrhythmia, but it may just be normal for you. I certainly wouldn't worry about that at all. Okay? Your pulses are nice and strong. I'm going to check the other side here, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Good. Okay. So next, I'd like to do a quick abdominal exam. I'm going to lay the head of the bed down a bit for this to make it a little bit easier to perform. Is that okay with you? Okay. Give me just one second to set that up. Okay, I hope that's comfortable for you. I know these aren't the most comfortable beds, but I'm going to start by taking a listen to your abdomen, okay? God, this is just for bowel sounds. is normal there. I hear good bell sounds, so give me one second here. We'll just do some percussion, okay? This is just a gentle tapping over your abdomen, okay? Now we will do palpation, okay? So this is just light to deep. Is that okay with you? Okay, here we go. Just gentle pressure there, is that okay? okay. Some pressure here as well. Okay, very good. Pressure here. Gastric region here. A lot of folks with the reflux have discomfort here. Anything there? Okay, good. good. I'm going to press down by your appendix here. I'm going to press in hard and let go. How's that? Okay, good. And now I'm up below your ribs here on the right. I just want you to take a deep breath in. Good. Okay, no pain. Excellent. Was there any area that you want me to re-examine? Sure. The left, the bottom left. We can do that one more time here. I'm just going to press down. Good. Okay. I don't feel any masses, okay? Everything feels healthy, and it doesn't seem to be too uncomfortable for you, so that's good. Let's get you sat back up. Okay. Well, your abdominal exam was normal, and that's good. I think after everything that we've seen today, I'd just like to do one more test, and that's do a quick EKG. Would that be okay with you? Okay. What I'll have you do is just relax back. We'll just place these lead wires here across your chest to obtain an EKG. So, just relax here. We'll start placing them. And you'll feel just a sticky here. This just lets me take a look at the electrical activity of the heart. This one will go on your arm. And up by your shoulder. Good. This last one's down almost on your leg here, but we'll just put it on the torso to make it easier. Good. Okay. Now what I need you to do is stay very still to get an accurate reading here. So I'll have you take one big deep breath in. And out. Good. We'll do that one more time, and when you exhale, we'll grab the picture. Or the EKG, I should say. So let me enter your information in. Okay. Deep breath in. 
turned out. Perfect. Okay. Let me get all these wires off here. EKG looks normal to me, and that's also reassuring. I think we have a decision to make together, and before we do that, I'd like to remind you to like today's video and subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any of our appointments together. Now back to our important decision. Do you think that we should get a chest x-ray today? Would that make you feel more comfortable knowing that we evaluated with a chest x-ray for the shortness of breath? Or would you feel comfortable waiting and coming back next week and we can discuss how you're feeling then of course you can always call we'll go straight to the emergency department if things get worse what do you think sure absolutely let's get the chest x-ray then we can look at the images together next week I'll write your prescription now written you a prescription for your weekly dose of ASMR, so please again, if you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you all for supporting me so much, and we'll see you next week.